Hey guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we are going to be checking out Minecraft Dungeons action figures. And today we will also spend some time on my Squirrelcraft Acorn Dungeons. You have an Acorn Dungeon, Landry? What's that about? If you like Acorn Dungeons, wait till you see the Telephone Wire Dungeons. A Telephone Wire Crossing Dungeon? That's even weirder. Don't get me even started about the Road Kill Dungeons. Yeah, I don't even want to go to the Roadkill Dungeon. Ugh. How about we forget all about these Squirrel Dungeons and check out Minecraft Dungeons. We've got basic assortment action figures, we have battle chests, and some more minifigures. Hopefully we can find the right figures inside the boxes this time. Squirrel Stampede! Please swipe Squirrel and Squirrel I mean, really, look at all this stuff. Last time when I went through some of the minifigures, I still had not found the skeleton yet. And there's the skeleton, and while looking for the skeleton, look what we found next. The Nameless One and Hal is back there, and so is the Redstone Golem and Arch Illager. So there's a ton of things still being found. Anyhow, let's try to focus on the core group of four figures today. I think they're really, really spot on awesome, and we have to see them a little closer. Not that close. Alright, so here are your four main Minecraft Dungeons action figures to look for. Pretty much based off the Minecraft Comic Maker style of figures from Mattel, only I do not think these guys have removable face plates. We'll see as we get a little closer. This is a great scale of action figure from Mattel. Probably one of my favorite playable figures. Jazzwares were always just very fancy and too nice to play too hard with. The survival mode figures were awesome, but kind of large. So the Comic Maker scale has always been a lot of fun. Hmm, I can't remember. Is it Hex or Valerie that I used in gameplay? I think it was Hex. Let's open up Hex first. And it's Hex out of the package, and yes indeed, very similar to Comic Maker style figures. All around, very well detailed. The figures of course have articulation and head rotation arms at the shoulders. I think you can pull them out a little bit. Yeah, you can pull them in and out if you want to give them a little bit of range. I think they're on a ball joint or something. No waist, but we do have the ability to sit, and I think they do just enough to really make for some good fun play. So without the Comic Maker face plates, we do have a little more added accessories. Hex comes with the cool... Oh shoot, what are these called? I should know what these are called. Thank goodness for the comments. The short dagger swords, the squirrel squikies, and a lot of these have these really cool motion elements to them that you could add on, giving them the in-game look of action swiping and slicing and all that. Pretty neat. Looks like Hex also comes with a small purple potion. What is that? There's so many little power-ups and extras in Minecraft Dungeons. Keeping those all straight in my head is going to take a quite a long time. And Steve, are you going to give me the upper eyebrow this entire video? Okay, who shall we see next? How about Valerie over here? Valerie is a common main player of this franchise. You often see Valerie in some of the larger 12-inch figures too. I should try picking one of those up. As if I have not picked up enough dungeons yet. Ah, you can never have too much dungeons, right? Let's open up. And Valerie out of the pack. What a solid looking figure this one is. There is so much adventure play in this one. She looks great. Huge belt buckle too, by the way. We've got the long sword with this one. I love the creative new accessory weapons with dungeons. Really getting abundant new stuff for action figures is great for Minecraft. Oh, we've got this cool sword swishy. Look how big this swishy goes and it just clips on so perfectly. That is such a cool effect. I think the only thing that would have made it even cooler had we had just a little action feature to do some swiping. But you know what? Action features sometimes ruin the basic feel of a figure, so I'm good either way. And it looks like we have a totem of cookiness. Cookiness. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not a totem of cookiness. All right, let's take a quick first moment and see if we can correct what happened wrong with Minecraft Dungeon Series 20 minifigures. If you recall, when I was pulling letters, when I got to letter G, I pulled a Shiba Steve. What? What? A Shiba Steve, that's right. So I ran back to the store and the same shelf box was still there and I found another G pack. Will we find another Shiba Steve or will we find that something that is supposed to be in this collection? Let's, let's find out real quick. So this is another G pack. What? 
a B. This is not Minifigure Series 20. This is Cute Series 18, but it is the Chase figure. That's pretty random and cool. I found a Chase figure B. So the G is completely off right now. Unbelievable. Anyhow, let's try out this skeleton next. This skeleton is really cool. And it's the skeleton vanguard. Not standing too well because of all these extra heavy weighted things. The shield especially will weigh him forward. Oops. I like the shield though. I like how it's got a rotational handle so you can either have him hold it straight off the side of the arm or straight forward. That's a pretty fancy accessory piece. But again, he's a little tippy because his legs are kind of encumbered by this little skirt. Um, kind of hard to get him to stand up. Maybe if we just take the shield off, he'll be fine. Actually, I think I have his shield on the wrong arm. Helmet comes off too, very nice. And a very cool accessory sworded weapon. I like this guy quite a bit if I can get him to stand. Please stand, buddy. No, he really doesn't want to stand very well. There we go. Which leaves us over here to Adrian. Adrian probably has the most colorful color scheme going of these figures with kind of the bright pink hair and then the green. Let's open up. And another very nice Minecraft dungeon figure out of package. Love the color scheme on this one. Absolutely bright. And I like how they've layered the hair a little bit on these figures. It kind of stands out a little more than previous figure series. Adrian's got a pretty nice sword too. Also with the swishiness. Oops. And what do we have here? Looks like she can hold it. Again, with so many extra new power-ups, I'm guessing this is lightning potion and makes her really fast, right? Oop. And there together your four main Minecraft Dungeons action figures. Basic assortment, pretty easy to find now. I'm seeing these several times now at Walmart and Target. Oh, I just placed my skeleton on an older base plate, one of those long blocks from the Comic Maker series. So those feet do hold in well on display bases. So, how do we dress these guys up even more? With battle chests! This right here is the Grim Armor Battle Chest. Oh, that's gotta hurt. So far, I have found four different battle chests, each with ten pieces inside. This one, one weapon, one light feather, eight-piece suit of armor. So let's get into this and see what we can dress up our figures. And in we go. Ooh. A bunch of armor and accessories. Oh, this is cool. Grim armor. Who wants to wear the grim armor? I guess it's gonna be Valerie. So obviously we have the grim armor helmet. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we have some nice chest plated armor. Boots. Did I get those on right? Shoulder pads, I believe. Hmm, maybe just arm pads? Or were those for pants, too? Oh, I think I'm missing one. These might be for the legs. And these for the shoulders. Those are tight. So what do you think? Did I do that right? I'm not 100% sure on this. We only have one corner shoulder pad, if that's what that is. Or maybe that's like a fist extra glove, maybe, for punching. Hmm. Almost fits on her hand. Oh, nope. I think these are probably for the pants but I'm not 100% sure. I gotta go check out the game again and see where those would probably fit on to the figure, but I think what's nice is you can kind of fit it on anywhere. And maybe as we go through some more of these chests, we'll figure it out. Oh, and there's the light feather. Now that is a cool accessory to have. I love strange exotic accessories like that. Really boosts up the adventure play. Ooh, and one of these too. All right, well, let's see what other chests we have. This one is called the Assassin's Armor Chest with one weapon, one potion. All right. And opening up. Whoa, looking good. So what do we got this time before I lose everything? Here's our helmet. 
Here's our chest armor. One of those, two of those, and okay, two shoulder pads maybe, and two maybe leg or armbands, and the potion. Since Adrian is already holding on to a potion, let's get her dressed up. The helmet goes on it. Which one's forward, which one's back? Very nice assassin's armor on Adrian. Love the ability to dress these figures up. And I think I'm figuring out these accessories now. Thanks to the no duh guide on the side of the packages, we can figure this one out a little bit better. Which I really mangled a whole bunch. These are not boots, those are sleeves. Oh my goodness, let's see here. This was indeed a extra bit of fist armor, although it doesn't want to hold on. Ah, there we go, that is more correct. These were indeed shoulder pads and not the boots. We do have extra glove armor. Only one piece though, I think I was missing a piece. And these would be leg cuff armor. So we've got this one figured out finally. Okay, before we open another armor pack, let's try out another minifigure misfire. Last time we opened up box H and found a clutch shroom from the previous series, 19. What? Maybe in this box H we'll find something we're supposed to find. Oh my goodness, something we're supposed to find! It's the Skeleton Necromancer! Oh, one of the coolest ones of the series, methinks. Look at this dude! Oh, I love the purple helmet and cape. That is so cool looking. The skeleton necromancer, just like it is supposed to be in the collection. A little bit of the curse has been lifted. So bizarre how tricky these have been to find this time. Okay, our next chest to look at. We have the Holy Plate Battle Chest. I can only imagine what kind of plates we'll find in here. Ooh, I think this one's my favorite so far. We have a very nice helmet with wings on the side. We've got a diamond sword. More either shoulder pads or footwear, we will find out in a moment. Nice painted parts to these. There's our chest armor and, ooh, that's got to be important. That must be the one amulet. And let's dress up Hex with the Holy Plate battle armor. Funny, I also just noticed that Valerie is the only one on the box being demoed. So we have the helmet, shoulder pads, chest armor, and glove armor. How about that armor? Very top heavy for sure. There's no pants going on, so it's all arms, chest, helmet. Watch out, Hex. Oh, I thought that would happen. Actually, I kind of helped it happen. These gloves are a little bit wonky. Still trying to figure them out. They kind of fit over the side armor. There we go. And the amulet, a really nice piece too. This is probably my favorite so far of the armor collections. And that leaves us one more. Oh, but before we get to one more, we have one more minifigure box. This is box K. Last time I got the zombie jockey chicken jockey guy. Let's see if we can get something authentic. Something authentic! Wait, what is that? This is not minifigure series 20. What is this? Is this left over from the aquatic series? I never had this one before. What? What is this? Is this the chase figure that I didn't get earlier? Hang on a second. Oh, this one almost threw me because it's new to me too, but this is Minecraft minifigure series 19. It's the chase figure again, the tropical slime cube. How did I just pull out two chase figures from previous series in series 20? That is insane. A welcome insanity, obviously, because these are chase figures and I never had them before. Look at that, there's a fish in the slime. This is great, this is a fantastic figure. Completely confusing, but there it is. Oh, all right, well that leaves us with one more weapons chest. Which one is this one? This one is the Cold Knight Battle Chest. One weapon, one potion should also be inside here. 
I'm knocking figures over constantly today. Alright, what do we got? We have the Cold Knight Helmet. Some of these helmets are fantastic. I think the ones with the spikies are the shoulder pads. And then the ones with the um, feet, oh the feet peg actually pegs into the boot. So that's the first time I've seen an official boot piece because it pegs into the foot. That would have been nice had I opened this one first. There's our potion and some more. Looks like glove armor. Who wants to wear this? I don't really want to dress up the skeleton. <laughs> oh, okay, Steve. We'll get you some armor. These should work with any comic maker figure, I'm guessing. Pretty good, Steve. And let's see, what was the armor again? This was probably your shoulders. Oh, a little tight, actually, for Steve. It might not fit Steve perfectly. Well, the helmet fits all right. Oh wait, there's some more armor in here. It wasn't all in the bag. I was wondering where the chest plate went, but the shoulder armor doesn't fit Steve too well. Let's bring back out Valerie, switch her armor off. Okay, so now let's take some of Steve's armor back over to Valerie. All right, so there's the Cold Knight Battle Chest on Valerie. And it turns out this armor does fit these figures a little bit better than the previous Comic Maker series. This is great armor, by the way. This is probably the best now. Each time they get better. Look at that mace. I mean, she is fully suited up. That is great. You can get the helmets on some of the older figures and the chest armor, but it's the shoulders. They're not fitting on exactly. I really don't want to squeeze them on too tightly. It might just depend on each figure, so be careful there. But Steve looks pretty cool in the Grim armor. Is that the Grim armor? I'm getting the names confused. And they're together all our armored options. Yeah, Steve with the sleeves a little bit funny. That's even funny to say, Steve with the sleeves. Steve with the sleeves. Steve with the sleeves. Yeah, the Cold Knight armor has to be the best of the collection. It's really the only one that's full-blown armor. With those boots, really completes. And that mace is such a cool piece. The Assassin's armor is starting to grow on me quite a bit, though. All of these really looking good. This one right here would have been the best had we had some boots, I think. What a perfect idea these battle chests are to dress up your Minecraft Dungeons basic assortment of action figures. And you know what? Also at the store I did see the Battle of Fiery Forge. This pack had some more armor included. Looks like some similar repainted armor and a chance for some more figures. I kind of held off for the moment since I already picked up the basic assortment, but keep an eye out for that too. Which now kind of leaves us with the Redstone Golem and Arch Illager. Of course, we're kind of really running on time, so I think I'm going to hold these guys and give them a proper video of their own. There is the Arch Illager, though, in package, looking pretty sinister, and a giant redstone golem, which makes me think, is there a redstone monstrosity? It would be huge. Going to have to figure that out. On the back of the pack, what we opened today, and also out there, the Nameless One and Howl. I like Howl a lot. He's got a good, fun, goofy, Steve-like look to him. And the Nameless One looks like a fun figure, so I'm gonna hold on these, maybe check out to see if there's any more Minecraft Dungeon stuff to add on to those, and hit those in their own review, so keep an eye out for that. Should be quite the fun. And that is today's assortment of Minecraft Dungeons, action figures, and their battle chests with armor. Pretty good series today. Also, don't forget about those minifigures. What is going on with those minifigures? So many weird errors going in series 20. I have found all these toys, Summer 2020, Walmart, and Target. If you liked today's video, please give a squike, squirrel live, and a squamment. We love to hear your squamments. That's what I have to say about that.